Alright guys, we're back with some more 2016 GBO. Joining me again is Anthony Van Den Heuvel. Yes. Also known as DG Weekly. Yes. If you haven't checked his uh, YouTube channel out, you like disc golf reviews? Yes. It's the best <laughs> on the internet, right buddy? I have been told by my mother. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. But uh, hey Tony, let's watch some disc golf, buddy. Yes. There we go. Uh, so we're out on round two. We got the chase card. We got Nico Castro, Kale LaVisca, Matt Oram, Devin Owens, and they're all tied at nine downtown. Yeah. Shot, they all shot uh, 47 yesterday at Peter Pan. Yeah. It was wet out there, and it was even wetter it's... out at Jones East today. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it is. Yeah. So we're starting off on hole one, 355. It's a dog leg right. Um, you see some forehands, some annies. Annies probably aren't going to get enough left or right. No. Um, but it looks like Nico's got maybe a roller lined up. Looking like it, yeah. Yeah, gets it down. It's not a bad shot if you can get it to stop, but the basket does sit right at the edge of the drop off. Yeah. And that road is OB past the basket? The road is OB, yeah. yeah. So that's actually honestly a really good drive from Nico. Uh, Matt Orem looks like he's going forehand. That's got a skosh too much Annie. Yeah. And there is OB left, and that is OB, he yeah. found the OB over there. Uh, Kale LaVisca up third. The nicest guys in disc golf. Throwing a little turnover. That one is coming up a little bit short. Yeah, should be a very easy par though. Yep, should be able to get up and down. And we got our, our lefty on the card, which I always like to see. Yeah, yeah, gives you a different perspective on these holes that you see. Exactly. You don't have to watch four of the same shots in a <laughs> row. Uh, Devin Ooh, Owens. Kicked off a tree there, it looked like. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at his upshot right now. Should be able to salvage a par from that. Look at it, Kale's second shot in the downpour. That got kind of a little air bounce. I don't yeah, think he wanted. It looked like it went a little bit far. Yeah, he went down the hill. He's going to have a up the hill comebacker for his par. Uh, this is Matt Worm's third uh, stroke after the OB one. Uh, just laying it for a four. This is Nico for birdie. By far the closest drive we saw. Flirted with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faded out just a little early on him. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at Kale trying to save his par. Not so much. No. Yeah, just a little short. Uh, Nico looking to salvage a par. Nicely done. That uh, was Kale for a bogey. Uh, Devin's gonna put out his par, hopefully. Sorry about the umbrella in the frame. It was <laughs> incredibly windy <laughs> out there. I was doing my best to stay dry and keep my umbrella right side out yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was a challenge at times but uh you see that wind and that rain getting to kale and matt uh, some early bogeys uh pars are good in these conditions yes yeah, in these conditions yeah yeah it it became apparent that up shots were really important mm -hmm. uh, you have to get it really close to make some putts uh, we're on the hole two 300 feet just a, a nice easy back end hyzer for the righties and also for the lefties actually yeah pretty wide open hole it really is yeah uh nico no stranger to the hyzer and that's tracking towards the basket. Wow. That's a weird skip, wasn't Massive it? Massive skip. Yeah. yeah. It would have been parked otherwise. Uh, Devin Owens up seconds. Also throwing a hyzer at it. And comes up a little short. But... Should have a very makeable putt, though. Mm -hmm. In normal conditions, anyway. In normal conditions, <laughs> yes. Matt Orem also taking a hyzer line. Again with the skips. Aren't these crazy skips, man? <laughs> they're like, but they're they're straight away. They're, they're not, not normal, left. No. Yeah, some really weird wind going on. Look, there's a little bit of a tailwind right here. Let's see, kind of kale faded out early with yeah. that tailwind. I'll knock your disc it took out. A much straighter line, though. Yep. I don't think he wanted that skip. Uh, I think you're right. Huh? I kind of saw yeah. the other the other players. Yep. Yeah. So that was kale just laying for a par. This is Matt Orem uh, laying it for a par. Uh, Nico looks like he's gonna run this birdie. As he's one to do. Yep. Ooh, he had a little headwind putt, so he tried to do yeah. that spin putt with a little bit of lift, but just didn't quite get the lift he was hoping for. Oh, man. Devin with a little front runner banger. I believe that was Nico? Yes. Yeah. The umbrellas make it hard. <laughs> they all look the same. And uh, I believe Kale borrows Nico's putter right here. Yep. <laughs> There was a thread on Reddit about this the other day. Was there really? Yeah, if you could if you could borrow somebody's disc later on. I was like, I've seen him do it a lot. I don't see why not. Yeah. And, uh, Mayo dropping in a par along with Devin. And, uh, Nico and Devin still 
leading our chase card here at nine down. It's gonna take us to hole three. And this is a pretty big pump, Tony. 520 uphill. And it's got this barn in the middle. And you wanna miss left or right. Uh, the basket's off to the right of the barn in those trees up there. You can see it tucked in those trees. Uh, it's an absolute crush job to get a birdie. Yeah. The usual play seems to be kind of up and left of that barn mm -hmm. to leave you a nice open hyzer up towards the basket, but Nico says forget that. I'm just going over everything. Yeah, when you have Nico power, <laughs> you can do some cool things. <laughs> it must be nice. Yeah. Our lefty probably is going to gonna get there. It's a pretty big pull for a hyzer yeah. line. It really almost kind of favors the righty if they can bust out that flex shot. Mayo with this interesting style. <laughs> Now that's kind of the typical Is it? line, yeah. Off to the left, and you have a wide open shot. Yep, he definitely left himself that look. Uh, Kay LaVisca. Stay off that bar. Oh, come back at least a little bit. <laughs> he got a, a decent deflection off yeah. that. Yeah. Definitely not where you want to be, though. No, and Devin's actually throwing a grenade right here. Or a really? Scooby. Yeah. With I've, the disc upside down, yeah. the thumb on the inside, yeah. And came down, give him a putt, but just a little bit shorter than he wanted. And this is Kale throwing, I believe that's a thumber, the way it's flying. And his eventually comes down, too. There, there it is. is. Also has a putt. And we got Matteo. I believe that's that BT harp. Or maybe just a, I don't know, the plastic, Something, but it's a harp. Yeah. Yeah. Those Trilogy guys love their harps, They're man. They're very nice. They're a very popular disc. That was uh, Nico just laying for a par. This is Devin for a par. I just build out a little so early. Much. Yeah. Uh, Kale looking to salvage a par after that barn hit. Just a little bit short. Yeah. These are unforgiving baskets. Unforgiving baskets and unforgiving conditions. <laughs> Very unforgiving conditions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was Matt yeah. making a nice par along with Nico. But otherwise, that's two bogeys. But 520 uphill, it's a definite pretty big pull. Oh, was that a par four? Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Nico actually was running the eagle there. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Wow. Impressive. Uh, we're on to hole four, 562. Uh, thrown over the lake, kind of dog legs left, and then kind of straightens out again. Uh, there is OB in the road right there. And you'll see the basket coming in here, tucked in those trees. Uh, I'd say the road comes into play more on your second shot, your up yeah. shot, than your drive, really. Yeah, for sure. Got to worry about the lake on your drive. Nico on the box, and you, you don't want to like fall forward on this this tee pad here. No, 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 and there's not much room behind it either. So no. you, you get a pretty small run up. Also true. To it? throw a massive drive over some lake. Yeah, another huge pump from Nico. Um, Matt looking to match that, coming up a little bit shorter, but still inbounds and in the fairway. Yep, that's pretty much all you're looking for here. Mm -hmm. uh, Devin Owens can play a little flex line, get some extra distance going over at the top. And you can see it up there, just starting to fade now. And comes down right of your screen over in those trees. Should be able to get up and down from there. Yeah. Definitely not a very lefty friendly hole with these winds, but yeah. all things considered, not a bad shot. Mm -hmm. Pretty good looking line from Kale. So again, finishes in the sleep. fairway. Yep. Keeping it dry out of the lake anyway. As dry as possible. Yeah, not the rain. Uh, Kale coming up a little bit shorter than he wanted on that upshot. Matt going back to that harp, and kind of see why works yeah. for him pretty well. Uh, Dio going a little forehand, and he has an excellent forehand game. He does. Yeah. I did not know that until today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think as a lefty, you almost have to develop that that forehand game <laughs> with all the the righty, uh, you know, balanced courses. Yeah. Uh, Devin looking to save his par. That was kind of a brutal chain out right there. Was, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Nico makes a nice three. Uh, looking at Kale for... Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Just sailed on him. It, it did. Back. It was even in a tailwind, too, which was interesting. Uh, coming back in the headwind. Oh, and no. Didn't get the lift. He's three-putting for a five, unfortunately. That's not how you want to start your round off. No. Uh, Matt Cart's a nice three. And I got Devin dropping in a four. Uh, some nice birdies from uh, Nico and Matt. Uh, Kale with the bogue. Devin lands a par golf right there. 
and Nico's leading our cart. And we're on to hole five, a 477, another par four, right, Tone? Yep. Yep. And there's just OB everywhere on this yeah, thing. It's kind of like a double island hole. It's really oh, weird OB, too. Yeah. I, I was having trouble figuring it out just looking at it, but. It used to be in years past they would have tall grass marking it, but this year everything's cut down. Yeah, so you can see where the grass is a little bit longer. That's where the OB is. So there's a fairway here, and then there's also a fairway left and past that tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the shot, is just lay up past that tree, throw your up shot, and hopefully make your putt. Mm -hmm. Some nice drives from Nico and Matt. Uh, pretty good placement shots, not doing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Devin, taking a little different line with the lefty action. And looking Still to get... Still just trying to get in the same general area. Yeah, also in bounds right there. Uh, Kale looking to match Nico and Matt. Yeah, middle of the fairway. Yep. That'll play. Yep. Uh, Nico's second shot on this par four. That looks pretty parked. That is nice. Yep. Uh, Devin's second shot. He's thrown over OB pretty much the entire way right here. And he made it barely kind of inbounds. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, well, I got a shot for you later. You'll see it. It's, it was interesting. Uh, great upshot right there from Kale. Looking at Matt's upshot with the harp, and he left this one wide. Yeah, I think he was expecting a little bit more fade out of that. Yeah, it was weird. It kind of just died on him, it looked like. Yeah. So here is Matt for his birdie. Uh, that was mm. that was awkward in there. Not much he could do. No. So this is Devin's disc, and you can kind of see the white chalk line. Um, but I'm not sure if they went by the chalk or the flags. If you went by the flags, it was definitely inbounds. Yeah. But I don't know if there was maybe some chalky grass under his disc or something, but... Apparently. Yeah, got a birdie out of it. Uh, so did Kale. And looks like Nico has a drop-in birdie. And we've got our lone par from Matt. Who's trying to stay dry, but it was tough out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've been filming disc golf for five years. This is only the third time I've filmed in rain. California problems. Not a fan, it <laughs> turns out. <laughs> I prefer dry conditions and 70 degrees. Yeah, don't but, we all. Yeah, yeah. A hole six, uh, another par four, uh, 467 feet, going uphill, kind of crest this hill and go downhill, and it's kind of like a little peninsula green, Anthony? Yep. Yeah, it definitely pinches, and then there's kind of a circle around the basket. Yeah. But definitely not a very big landing zone. No. Uh, Nico going up the middle, and I filmed this mm. poorly, but he cut a crazy kick, went about 45 degrees left and backwards, about 100 feet. Jeez. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty friendly lefty hole, though. Devin can kind of just hide it around all the trouble. Yep. And you can see it land right there, tombstoning it. Inbounds. Yeah. Inbounds, what you want to do. There is a straight window that these guys are trying to get through, but it's it's not a big window. No, I, was, I would definitely prefer to be lefty on this hole. Yeah. Yep. I was talking to my buddy Jared Person, and he said this course is very lefty friendly. That's what I've heard. Yeah. But... We'll see how it plays out. We'll see. <laughs> it's definitely not rain friendly. No, it's not. Or wind friendly. So I believe that was Nico just making his way up the fairway a little bit. We got Matt right here looking to skip onto this peninsula green. And gets the good colored flag. Inbounds. Kale's second shot. A little shorter than he wanted, especially in these conditions. I'm, I'm telling you, upshots yeah. were, were absolutely key today. Not a lot of huge putts being made. So this is going to be Nico's third shot, hoping to get up and down for his par. Um, should be able to do that with that upshot, though. And uh, Devin, pretty solid drive. Yeah. Especially when you compare it to all the other ones. Definitely took advantage of being lefty on this one. Mm -hmm. A little long on the up, though. Hope we should be able to make that putt. Uh, Kale for a three, not so much. Card in a par. Uh, this is Matt for his three. Also just a little bit short. Yep. Good putt from Devin. Card to birdie. Uh, Nico looking to save his par. After that drive, that's a really good par save. It is, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Got a nasty kick off that tree. And then we had a 75-minute lightning delay. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it started <laughs> raining really hard, got some lightning, so they called it for a little while, and then we went back out there at, what, like, 5 o'clock? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. I think this round finished pretty much like eight o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Start to finish was about six hours. Yeah, it was a, it was grueling. <laughs> <laughs> we were soaked. Uh, we're on the hole seven, five fifty-five, and uh, it's another par four. Yeah. Placement shot on your drive, usually a hyzer, lefty or righty, actually, and then your second shot thrown downhill, and the basket's tucked in these trees. Uh, it, the slope is a lot more severe than it looks like it, in the yeah. drone footage. It plays a lot tighter than it looks. Yeah, uh, really tough to stick your up close to the basket. Uh, Devin playing the lefty hyzer line. I believe he got back in bounds, Anthony. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And Nico going the other way, which also plays if you can throw far enough. See this Spoiler alert, yeah. Nico throws far enough. Very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that parking lot there that he skipped off of is out of bounds. About, he almost got you. He almost got me. <laughs> almost. I'm too quick. You are. Mad jukes. <laughs> Kale with a good drive, but a really unfortunate finish right there. And that's the big danger off yeah. the tee here. And you can't really plan for that. You can't see that tree off the tee, really. No. Matt also taking that Heiser line, uh, but has a little bit better result. Yep. He'll just have a nice open hyzer down to the basket. Yep, and Kale has pretty much nothing but a pitch out, so he's playing smart golf, making, mm -hmm. getting as far down as he can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt, second shot. And that's actually down there just a little bit past the basket, I want to say. Maybe about 15. Dio's second shot. That looked pretty good. He's right there, yeah. Yeah. It is just so tough to stick on this green. Especially with the rain. Mm-hmm. Just make things every makes everything slippery. Yep. Uh, Nico, that actually looked finished better than it looked. I want to say. Yeah. And Matt for birdie. Uh, just a little bit short. Kale to uh, salvage a par here. Well, yep. that'll play. And uh, Nico for birdie. Oh, what? No. He was less than stoked about that. And Dio. And this win, man. These, these droppers are scary. <laughs> Even those five footers. That's uh -huh. Nico. Yep. That was a nice birdie from uh, Devin. Fortunate bogey for Matt. And we're on to. What is it? Hole eight. eight? Yeah. So this one's pretty dead straight. Um, all the brown you're seeing is OB the whole way down. That's a slightly downhill, Anthony? Yeah, it's pretty downhill. Yeah. And then there is also OB long if you get a nasty skip or just throw it too far. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest difficulty on here is definitely the wind. Yeah. Devin Owens playing the lefty hyzer. And now I notice he doesn't do an X step. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice that until you mentioned it. Yeah, it just as like a little shuffle. But it seems to work. Throws further than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell him what to do. Exactly. Uh, Nico's lining up this hyzer line, which seems like it's, unnecessary danger. Yeah, it's just not there. No. I don't. There's this perfectly open straight shot, but. Yeah. Tried to force the hyzer and he paid the price. Yeah. The pros like their hyzers, you know, you can, you can do distance. Gauge yeah. distance a lot better with a hyzer than you can a flat shot. Uh, Kale finishes a little short right, uh, but, but when you force it, it, it doesn't yeah. always work out. Uh, Matteo. Getting some lift on the wind there. Yeah, we, uh, the discs were dancing out there today. <laughs> and he gets a little kick and a roll he didn't really want. Uh, this is Nico's third shot from the uh, drop zone. And this is Kale for birdie. Little jumper comes short up just short. Again. Yeah. I saw a lot of those today. That's a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, he had a, he had a pretty solid downhill, or sorry, downwind putt right there. And same thing with Devin. Mm -hmm. Wind really just took the sail out of those discs. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I think Matt might have been counting on that headwind lift. I think so. It didn't come, though. What? Oh, Nico. Nico. Oh, man. That's, that's going to haunt him. That's two strokes right there, just... Thrown away. Given away, man. You can't do that in NT. Can't do it in a casual round either, but you really can't do it in NT. <laughs> Not a what? No way! <laughs> oh, Devin. That looked kind of like a nasty spit through, though. Grease these baskets. Seriously, basket wins. He put the big cage on him and greased the chains, apparently. Good lord. At least, uh, Kale and Matt <laughs> salvaged some pars. 
Uh, Nika with a double there, unfortunate. Taking the five. Uh, not weird. That's a that's a pretty hole for these guys. That's, yeah, in normal conditions, you think that you think that would just be you have to get it. But... Yeah. Not so much there. Uh, we're on the hole nine, seven twenty six. Uh, pretty dead straight off your drive, and your second shot's a little dogleg lefty. You got OB in the road, and then there's also OB in this creek tone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty tight green. And this was after probably a good half hour, forty five minute backup too. Oh, that's right. So there was five was, groups on this yeah. one. I want to say, yeah. Pretty brutal. Struggle to stay warmed up. Yeah, kale a little bit low, but does clear all the trees you need to clear. Um, but it's gonna have a longer second shot than it was hoping for. Yep. Uh, Mayo. Getting some turn out of it. Yeah. Scaring Joe Height. Get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, second cameraman for Smashbox. If you're curious, does some great work. And uh, Devin playing the lefty around the trees. Which I kind of like better. You don't have that small tree in the middle there. Yeah, true. Now you finished uh, right-hand side of the fairway. And uh, it looks like Lee and Nico starting his Star Destroyer. On a flex line up the middle. And it looked like he threw this like 30% and it just went. It just goes. Yeah. Must be nice to be Nico. Yep. Yep. Uh, looking at Kale's second shot. Uh, go. Go. Not so much. Yeah, favorable spot though. Yeah, he's up there. Yep. Gonna be putting four. Uh, this is Devin's second shot. On the flex with something overstable. Man. Yeah, flirting with that OB, <laughs> but stays safe just barely. Uh, this is Nico's second shot after a pretty monster drive. Put himself at a great spot. Yeah. He needs to get some fade quick. Oh. Yeah. That'll play. That's just that. Yeah, should be a birdie. We'll skip off the wet grass. Mm -hmm. And Matteo. That needs to get. Uh, uh, it got wet. It is, got, what it, is what it got. It got wet. Yeah. Uh, looking at Devin's third shot. Playing a forehand. Open to salvage a par. That was a great up. Should be able to get par from there. Really a tough green for the lefties if you don't have a good yeah. forehand. Even the backhand, it's sloping away mm -hmm. down towards the OB. It's not a gimme. Nope. Oh, Damn. Kale looking to salvage a par, but going to be card in a five most likely. This is Nico for a birdie. Pretty stiff headwind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nico, man. <laughs> He's happy about that one. He is, man. <laughs> Whatever he is, he's not boring, man. Yeah, you know? Yep. Yeah. Definitely adds some excitement to the round. For sure. Uh, some good putts from Devin there. And uh, Matt's going to drop in. I believe that's a five. Yeah. So, Kaylin and uh, Matty taking some bogues. Nico getting two strokes on him. Uh, Devin hanging around at 11 down with Nico. And it's going to bring us to hole 10. And this one's throwing just pretty much dead straight. The basket's tucked in the middle of this little grove of trees. Uh, I believe the water is casual to the right of the basket. That's not in the drone footage, but you'll see in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of just a slightly understable turnover mid shot. Yeah. Looks like Nico's starting his destroyer though. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad kick though. No, it could have gotten could have gotten much worse. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty good lefty line, but Devin got some yeah. crazy elevator action he did not want. Kind of fought through a little bit. Yeah, not as much as hoping for. Whoa. Kale getting the same wind bump. God, these are crazy to watch. <laughs> and that is parked. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it was he threw here, but I'm thinking he wanted a little bit more flex out of it than that. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to agree with you on that one. <laughs> uh, looking at Devin for a two. A little jumper. More front rim action. So much this round. Uh, looks like Mayo's just playing smart for a par. This is uh, Nico from the bushes for a birdie. And he had a pretty good line, although you can't see it, but it was clean. <laughs> but Until the rim. Until it hit the rim, <laughs> and then it got dirty. I'm telling you, they put the big rims on these things. They did. Uh, not for Kale, though. No. That was a great birdie. i got to imagine yeah. not too many uh, birdies on this hole, especially in these conditions. That's Devin dropping in a par, along with Matt and Nico. 
And Nico really wanted that one. Would have been nice. Could have got on that birdie train. Yep. But pulls into par station, <laughs> as it were. Unfortunately. Yep. Uh, is going to bring us to... What we got? It's hole 11. Uh, 395. Throw in a cross water here, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much just a dead straight shot. Mm -hmm. There is that tree off to the right. There is a man, though, so you have to stay inside of that. Kind of takes away the big hyzer. Yeah. But these guys can throw straight, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's maybe slightly downhill, but it's, it goes back up. Once you get on the other side of the water. Yep. Uh, Kale is getting some early fade he wasn't hoping for. Yeah, it looks like the wind just kind of took that one. Yeah. I believe like a little bit of a, a tailwind right here. Nico got too little too much turn. Jumping all over. I'll have a putt, but that's... Look at that flag, man. Uh, it was whipping. Yeah. And Devin Owens. Ooh. Just flirting with the Mando. The Mando. <laughs> go. 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 <laughs> and flirting with the lake. Flirting with the water, too. Oh, my goodness. Keeping things interesting. He's safe. That He's definitely doing that. And Matt playing a little flex line. There's Anthony getting soaked. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> my umbrella <laughs> blew out of my handle in a way like 200 feet. <laughs> and Kayla Visca is like the coolest guy ever. You made him go he, get it. Yeah, I did not make him go get it. He went and got it for me. Man. He just he said he said it was training. There you go. Yeah, getting getting warm. Keeping in shape. Yeah. And Matt coming up short after Kale came up a little bit short left. Nico for birdie. Also oh, a little bit man. short left. Yeah. These guys are consistent. They are. Uh, Devin salvages a par along with Kale. And Nico and Matt have pretty much drop-ins. This is another one where in normal conditions you'd think it would just it would be mm -hmm. a have to get birdie. But yeah. Today you got to be happy with par. Yeah, wind was doing things. It was doing a lot of things <laughs> yeah. and nobody could guess. Yeah, I was not happy about the wind here. Uh, it's going to bring us to a uh, hole 12, 320. We're going back across the lake again. And this one we have an elevated pin, which are even more fun in the wind, <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> then you're forcing the disc to get exposed. Yep. Who knows where it's yeah, going. Funny things happen when the wind gets on that flight plate. Yeah. So it's 320. It's not a long one. Um, I I miss Kale's drive right there. He finished short, right? <laughs> uh, Nico's drive, looking at it right here. I believe that's his Firebird. Looks like it. Yeah, he's got that glow fire bird. He throws a lot. Either that or a T bird. God, look Something at it. Dump stable. out there, man. Uh, yeah. Devin, ew, there's a little left Ugh. to right wind, and once that flight plate yeah, tilted, just got smashed. Just anied right into the lake. Uh, good looking drive from Matt. I'll have a putt for birdie. Yeah, the wind was trying to push it down. It but... was. Uh, so that's Devin from the drop zone on his third shot. Going to be carding a four. Uh, this is Kale from short, most likely playing smart, playing, yeah. it, playing it for a three, although that went a little long. Uh, Mayo for birdie. Not really sure if he was running that or yeah, what. I don't know. Uh, Nico for birdie. <laughs> <laughs> he's Again. like, I just can't win, man. <laughs> you can just see it. We should start counting how many times he's hit the front of the rim. It's it's a lot. Nico's one, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve. I like that. It makes it easy to see what's, mm -hmm. what's going on yeah. in his head. <laughs> Some good putts from Matt right there and Kale. And this is Devin to a salvage a four. Nico. Very pleased with his bar. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was going to say, but we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, Nico's still leading the card though at 11 down. Doing, doing alright out there. It was tough. Uh, hole 13, 565. I believe another par 4, Anthony? Yep. Cool. Pretty long, pretty straight. You got these trees at the very end here. Yeah. You can either go through this gap or there is a big line up and over the trees, but it's a big line. Yeah, it really is. You have to have a crushing drive to have yeah. that hyzer line. Uh, this is Kale on the box, and he wants to get left more than this is going to. Yeah, that's going to leave him a tough look for yeah, sure. Yeah, either that Spike Heiser or just laying up for a, a par. Yep. Uh, looks like Nico's going back to that Star Destroyer, and he's been throwing that thing really well so far. He's tracking nice. Mm-hmm. 
Look at this skip. Jeez. I gotta believe there's some wind involved in that. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to go that far left. No, he still has a line through the he trees. He should still be able to get through. No yeah, problem. but he doesn't have that, that big juicy gap he wanted. Mm-hmm. And Matteo throwing it way up there. That needs to get down. There is OB left. Sit. Ooh, good sit. <laughs> yeah, he was. Devin Owens? Uh, that was a bad shot. That was... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's not really any other way to put it. No. Uh, looking at his forehand second shot, and looks like he's trying to push this gap. Might be. Yeah. Risky shot if he is. Oh, he is in the creek. It is casual, though. It is. Yeah, so no OB stroke. Uh, that was Kale just laying up. This is Matt with his harp. Just through the gap nicely. Yeah, he's debating compass or harp. He's like, I'm just going to crush my harp. Well, I... Think it paid off. It worked for sure. <laughs> uh, looks like Nico's going glow firebird, uh, but put too much Annie on that Just, one. It came up yeah. short left. Dio with his third shot should be able to salvage a par. That is Kale uh, just laying up for a par, and this is Nico for birdie. Outside the circle though, and the wind's doing things. Um, he missed and wasn't was happy. <laughs> there is Devin salvaging a par. Uh, Nico coming back for his. That one's stuck nicely. This is Matt, I believe, for a birdie. I think you're right. Yeah, solid bird. And that is Kale for his par. So uh, Matt getting a nice stroke mm. on the card right there. He and uh, Devin just one back at Nico right now. You gotta think that's probably a stroke on the field there. Yeah, in that's those pretty, conditions. Yeah, definitely a hard hole. Um, we're going back the other way now. Uh, hole 14, 422. Uh, it's a backhand hyzer hole, dog leg left, and the basket's kind of tucked up just before this pond, uh, which makes pushing the green scary. Very difficult, yeah. Yeah. Not too much, that's really far, too. <laughs> <laughs> and there's rain and wind. And yeah. Wet tee pads. Yeah. Matt hung it up pretty far right, uh, kind of playing it safe a little bit. Uh, should be able to get up and down for a par, though. Uh, Kale is up next. <laughs> Also a little bit wider than you're gonna want. Um, it's fading towards the basket, but that's a it's a longer birdie putt. Yeah, he'll probably just lay that up for par. Yep, he plays smart golf. Nico the Castro, and that is the line you want, guys. A little tighter and smashed, and that that's should right there. should be a birdie for Nico. Uh, pretty tough lefty hole for for Devin. Throws a nice little turnover. But need a little more on that to have a legitimate birdie look. But I don't know you could do much better no. as a lefty on that one. It's a tough pull. Just kind of laying them up now. Yep, Matt and Kale both playing smart golf. This is Devin for a layup par. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nico could get a stroke on the card right here. Should get a stroke on the card right yeah. here. Yeah. Not so much. Not so much. Oh, man. Putting was just so difficult. I wonder if it kind of just got in their heads, you know? Yeah, I, how could it not? Yeah. With all the rain and the wind? Yeah, man. It's tough to get in your groove. And all the backups and the when, lightning delay. Yeah, when every putt flies different. Yeah. You know, it's tough to get a, a rhythm going. Uh, Nico does make his comeback along with Kale. Uh, and Devin also dropping in a par, a little par frame on that one, which is really no shame in that. <laughs> I love Devin Owens, man. <laughs> like, we had a good He's time today. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, enjoying some Nico fun right there. <laughs> yeah, that's going to bring us to hole 15. It is 351 feet. Uh, it's pretty much dead straight. Uh, the righty's going to play a big hyzer, and the lefty can also actually play a big hyzer. Mm -hmm. And the basket is just before that OB, and that's looking back towards the T. It uh, looks like Mayo's lining up that hyzer line. Pumped it out there, and you're going to see, see it finish, but that's about it. Smash, smash. A little okay. tombstone. Uh, longer putt than he wanted, but no shame yeah. in that one at all. That's a really a pretty good pull for the line you're forced to take. Yeah, it's a big hyzer. You've got to throw with a lot more than 350 feet yeah, of power. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Kale takes the up-the-middle approach, but it comes up a little bit short. Most likely going to be laying up for par. Uh, Nico throwing that Star Destroyer on that 
big hydro line just way up yeah, there. You can see it up there. Yeah. And finish a little short left. Inbounds. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. So. yep. I actually think this might actually favor the lefties on this one. You don't have to throw quite as high of a hyzer. Get yeah, a little more distance. Definitely. And goes over the basket, yeah. but could come back for a birdie. Uh, there is Kale playing smart golf. This is Nico for a deuce. Drop it in there, buddy. Uh, he wanted it. He got it up this time. No front or banger on that one. Yep. Uh, Devin coming back up the hill for a birdie, and that is Dang. a good birdie tone. That is, yeah. yeah. That's probably the best putt we've seen this round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt came up short on his birdie attempt. This is Nico coming back for a par. There it is. Makes that nicely. This is Kale with his par. No worries there. Mayo with his par. And uh, Devin struggling the card. And Ty and Nico for the chase card lead. Mm -hmm. Doing work. It's going to bring us to hole 16. And uh, this one's quite a bit downhill. Tom. Yes, yeah. a lot. Yeah. So you got a narrow gap and then it opens up a lot. And then the basket's right before this uh, row of trees. So you really don't want to go long. Um, but if you do go short, you have a, a downhill kind of mm -hmm. death putt into the bushes. Uh, Devin has the box after that birdie. Throw in a hyzer that's flipping way too much. Yeah. He's going. That's He's cool. going deep into those trees. He's going wicked far, as our buddy <laughs> Eric would say. <laughs> and he did not want to go wicked far. Not this time. No. Uh, Matt, get a little bit of turn on that. And I believe it's going to fade towards the basket. Oh, yeah. Get in. Woo! Just Love over it. the top, man. That was great. He did roll into the trees a little bit, but he's got like maybe like a 10-foot putt out. And hopefully yeah. can figure something out anyway. I'm going to see Kale's finish really late right here. And... That is parked. It's right in front of the basket. Nice work, Hill. Uh, Nico going Star Destroyer again. It's interesting to see these guys using the high speed stuff like that. Yeah. With the downhill, it plays a lot shorter than 375. Yeah. I guess they can kind of control yeah. the distance that way. Yeah. As opposed to get throwing something really glidey. Yeah. Like a mid or something. Probably helps with the wind, I bet. Oh, it's very true, too. too. Yeah, cut through it. So that was Devin Owens from the bushes. Well, that was a fantastic yeah. out from where he was. That was incredible. I doubt he could see the basket in there. No. And a good putt from Nico. In contention for the best putt of the round. That's the Nico we know and love right there. And uh, Matty from the bushes. And I couldn't tell if it hit something on the way out or just yeah. didn't work. I, he really wanted that one, man. He really wanted that, yeah. yeah. After awesome. that drive. Yeah. Almost almost a one. Almost a one. Card at three instead. A good birdie from Kale. And uh, Devin salvaging a par. <laughs> I like that one right there. <laughs> he knows he got away with Barely it. Barely squeaks That's it in the there. the best right there. <laughs> Big fan of that. Uh, Nico taking the uh, chase card lead. Got a stroke. And we're on to hole 17, 405. Uh, it's pretty dead straight downhill, and it really kind of pinches down towards the basket. There's casual water uh, left and right of the pin and long. Uh, and you can see it right there. Looks like Kale still has the box. Yeah, there's kind of two lines they could take. Either the straight line that Kale is taking, or uh -huh. there's kind of that long turnover line. Okay, yeah. But with the wind, the straight shot seems to be the, the more consistent line. Yeah, pretty good pretty good swing from Kale. Just a little bit short. Right on line. Nico up next. He's been throwing this flex a lot today. I think that's a that Star Destroyer again. Looks like it. Yeah, he's been favoring it. Uh, faded out early. Going to have about a 45-footer for a birdie. And uh, might actually favor the lefty here. Yeah, the lefty's okay. got a nice hyzer line. Exactly, totally clean. Uh, that's it's fading just out. Just a little short, a little right. And that is like on the bank of the creek. <laughs> Down there, I got a shot of it, you'll see it. And Matt just threw it too low. Uh, going to harp with the second shot. Get down. Should hopefully Should be, be able to. Right. Yeah, so that is Devin's disc. Just barely. Barely. In, it's casual though. But Smart. he would have had to go like on the other side of the creek. Yeah. If he, if it was in the water, which is not awesome. Uh, that was Nico, gonna be taking a par most likely. This is Matt to salvage his par. Good putt from Matt. Yep. Got it up. Got it in. And this is Kale for a par. No. No. 
Everybody seems to be having trouble with the putts today. They are. Uh, Nico for par. Done and done. And Dio. Take it apart. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was Kale for Birdie, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. Makes par at least. Uh, Nico's still leading the chase card here. Gonna take us to hole 18. Uh, 530 foot par 4. Uh, first shot, you want to get as close to the parking lot as you can, and maybe a little bit left if possible. There is OB left though. And then your second shot, you're throwing on this little uh, peninsula green. The uh, the road is OB, right? Yep. And then, is there, yep. I believe, casual water to the right. I think you're correct. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't believe there's yeah. any OB over there. Uh, Kale has the box. Pretty good looking swing. Looks like some sort of overstable mid or something. Yeah. Eh, that's a driver how far that went. Yeah, that went a lot farther than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> That was a great pull. Really pushing that parking lot. Yeah. Getting some great distance. Risky play. Mm -hmm. uh, Devin's hanging it out over the OB, but fading back in nicely. Definitely a lefty friendly hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the wind just got absolutely nuts when Nico got on the box. She's like, what is going on right here? Um, stays in bounce up. Yep. Should have a nice, fairly open up shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, also a little low again. Uh, yeah. But it's up there. I mean, it's not an unmakeable shot from here. I believe that's his compass. It looks like it's turning a little bit too much. Yeah, already. it turned over and kind of went into the woods. Uh, this is Nico's second shot. Throwing a little turnover. That one's getting down a little early. Uh, looks like he's right in there with Matt. Yeah, a little longer putt than he was hoping for. And uh, Devin taking advantage of this lefty friendly hole. Uh, puts it just a little yep. bit past the pin. And uh, Kale with a pretty perfect drive if you're not yep. trying to push the pin anyway, right? And it's still, that's the upshot it leaves him. Yep. Uh, he's absolutely parked for a birdie. That was Matt for his birdie. This is Nico for his. Looks like a pretty similar angle. Yeah, it is. It's very. Uh, just a little high right. Uh, Devin should make this birdie to finish. Yeah. Nicely yep. done. Nico coming back for his par. There is Mayo for his par. And an absolute headbang, yeah. headbanger drop yep. in birdie for Kale. <laughs> good good way to finish right there. And that is the card. Uh, Nico tied Devin. Kale tied Matt. Um, it, was, it was an interesting round. It, <laughs> it was a round. It was, it was, they played. They played it, yeah. <laughs> Cool guys. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, who we got tomorrow? Do you remember? We got Kyle uh, Kyle Webster, maybe. I so, think we got Eagle McMahon, so that'll be cool. Jared Rowan. Yep. And a couple other people. Yeah, some people. <laughs> <laughs> we got the chase card. We got the chase card. So we'll get that guys uh, to you as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you around. So you just walked into a disc golf store. Look at all that sweet plastic. So many new discs to try. But you have your trusty compadres. Why would you want to try something new? What if you don't like this new disc? Rest easy when shopping at any of our buyback retailers. If you are not completely satisfied with a disc from Dynamic Discs, Latitude 64, or Westside Discs, bring it back within 14 days with proof of purchase and we will replace it with whatever disc you want. It is that simple. Now get out there and play some disc golf. Check out dynamicdiscs.com slash retail to find a buyback retail partner near you.